Stephen A., this had to be the perfect day for the National Football League. No, it wasn't. There were great games. There's no denying that. But when you have each game having some of the controversial stuff that's taking place, particularly that New Orleans Saints game, it's a problem. Um, when you have, uh, and uh, to a lesser degree, when you look at uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, New England Patriots game, and we're talking about overtime, um, you know, you don't like that. Uh, you wish that the league did something about it. But that egregious no call on that pass interference, when we're sitting here today talking about the Rams against New England and how it should not have been the Rams, that's a problem. And that's not to take anything away from the Rams. Their defense showed up, like I said, give them a lot of credit. Um, you know, listen, I, I, they're a damn good team. And Sean McVay can coach his butt off. We all know that even though, the, yes, they wasn't as great as they coaching, but he's a hell of a coach. But you cannot come off championship games. And we're talking more about the officiating and the league office than we are about the game. And that's what we find ourselves, as great as those games were, we find ourselves talking about that more than the actual participants because somebody other than, part, uh, other than the participants influenced the outcome. That is never a perfect day for any league. No, and I don't think you want perfect. Perfect is not what you're after in sports. Sports are messy and imperfect, and that's part of the drama. Your Pittsburgh Steelers and the immaculate reception, Stephen A., was that perfectly called? That's very controversial play. It's one of the most, met, you know, storied in the history. <laughs> what, are you kidding? Talk to the Oakland Raiders about that play. See if you think I'm just, the I'm just saying got the point it right. is it didn't touch the ground. No, but at the time, if it went off an offensive player, the offensive player couldn't make the play, right? Mm -hmm. It had to go off a defensive player first. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of controversy about that play. The point is that, that perfect is not the aim here. What the aim – of course, you'd like to get it right. You'd like the officials to get it right. They were too much in the story yesterday. But I think – look – Here's what you have to ask about the NFL, and sometimes the NFL takes too much flack. Yesterday, there was a full day of riveting drama. Mm -hmm. Like, I was transfixed. We all, it, was, it was awesome. My daughter doesn't even like football. I have three daughters. One of them doesn't even like football. Is kind of in the room watching because it was so dramatic and exhilarating. And part of that was the imperfection of the ref's calls, and I'm not claiming that had they gotten it right, it wouldn't have been even better. I just mean, this is, listen, you know what sports are largely, and until very recently, were almost exclusively the domain of men, and now it, and, and it has changed in recent years, which is a good thing, but it's a way for, that it's okay for us to express our feelings. For men, like, you can say, you can say if you're a Patriots fan, you love Tom Brady a hundred times. How many times can you say you love your brother or something like that, right? Like, you can cry if you're a, if you're a fan, but if you do that in life, you're something less. It's a way for us to, ex to, it, it's a, to express our feelings. We can get emotional about it. We can be angry. We need to be angry. And if it can't be our team's fault or... By, by extension, our fault. It has to be the officials. This will always exist, even if the officials do an amazing job, which I agree they didn't do yesterday. So today, to be sitting here lamenting the things that went wrong yesterday, instead of really, of course we're going to talk about it, of course, but, to, but, but talking about the stuff that went right, to ask the question and answer, it wasn't perfect, it ain't ever going to be perfect, that was Damn good yesterday. And, yes, it could be even better if the officiating was better than it was. Well, listen, I always say the NFL is the best reality show on TV. It literally it has all the storylines, mm -hmm. everything that we saw yesterday. Mm -hmm. We can just pick apart for days on this. But I want to get back to something that, that you guys, the discussion you guys had up regarding the overtime. Because, to me, it just it bothers me. It, yeah. You know, it bothers me that people want to all of a sudden go to this, I guess, this college rule um, where each team gets a each team gets a possess, possession. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a participation trophy to me. Mm -hmm. uh, like for me, this is pro football. Mm -hmm. You are paid to stop them. I don't want to hear this whole notion that oh New England, you get the coin flip and that and it's basically that's game. It's game over. Mm -hmm. No, if New England wins the coin toss, you as the Kansas City Chiefs, you need to stop them. I don't want to hear this whole notion that, oh, they scored, so now, oh, well, we should give them possession of the ball as well to make it, I guess, to even the playing mm -hmm. field somewhat. Mm -hmm. I'm not down with that. I'm, I'm well, Maybe call me old school in, that, in this particular fashion, not, but I'm not, 
Well, I'm, I'm on. This is professional football. You stop them well, if you want to win the game. Well, I'm going to accuse you of being somebody that's not paying attention to what's going on in the NFL in that regard, and here's okay, why. Go ahead. Because when you look at the National Football League, if you look at all the rules changes, the security issues for players, uh, protecting them, uh, the rules that favor quarterbacks, for example, and what have you, all of these ticky-tack fouls and beyond that players have religiously lamented about. You got greats like Ray Lewis, a Hall of Famer, that religiously complains about this is a sport of men and you won't let us play, et cetera, et cetera. Well, we have a situation where the National Football League is being inconsistent to some degree because there's a guy that's about to be league MVP. His name is Patrick Mahomes, and he's standing on the sideline without an opportunity to get on the field. What I'm saying is that it's not consistent with what the NFL says it wants to be about. It's about star selling. Stars are usually on the offensive side of the ball. It's stars that people want to see, and Tom Brady ain't the only one they wanted to see. So the issue is not necessarily just about fairness and all of that other stuff, even though I'm of the mindset. I like the fact that colleges come to you and say, okay, both teams have an opportunity for a possession, okay? And then after that, it is what it is. I don't like the fact that an NFL team, only one can end up having possession of the ball and not another. But more egregious than that to me is the fact that, or just as egregious, is the fact that the NFL, which obviously likes more offense, which Max, you and others have talked about in terms of the popularity of the sport, the ratings, the revenue, et cetera, et cetera, because of some of these rules that have been implemented, how the game isn't what it used to be. It caters more towards offense, et cetera, et cetera. Well, you got one of the elite offensive players that's on the sidelines and doesn't get a chance so to touch the ball. 